Hello and welcome. You probably hear noises in the background. Um, there's thunderstorms in the air. Anyway, it will just add to um, the energy, if that makes sense. And there's no tape machine here. I'm not putting any shit in. This is all nature. In any case, welcome. You are watching Thomas' Tower Reading. This is myself, Thomas Yannick. This is for the sign of Cancer which is governed by the moon, the only sign that is governed by the moon. Now this month we're having two supermoons, so the sign affected the most by the energy of these two supermoons by default is Cancer. I recorded um, a video that deals with the energies of these two supermoons and when to do what, if that makes sense, is all explained in this video, so please like and subscribe, uh, can't talk, like, subscribe and share so that you can access these videos um, to have even more information about the energies in August. Anyway, Cancerians, let's do this. What we will do here, we will separate the video or the readings in um, or the reading <laughs> into sections so it's easier to understand. We will look at the overall energy for the month of August 2023 for the sign of Cancer. Before we then look at emotional, your emotional core, and there is um, whether or not there's healing that needs to happen, or whether or not there's love coming in. Before we then lastly look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of August 2023. Before we do any of these things, let me introduce you to this month's guest. This is my friend Claire. Hello. She runs the Knotted Tree Holistic Therapy Center in uh, in Telford, holistic therapy center <laughs> in Telford. <laughs> I leave the um, contact details in the description box below. And in November of 2023, I will be giving a two day workshop, or holding a two day uh, event at your place. Can't yes. wait. Gonna yeah. be an Egyptian um, shamanism uh, workshop. There's a lot of space is still available. Anyway, that's also on her page. Um, have a look. Um, the Facebook link is in the description box. In any case, are you ready? Let's do this. So now we're looking at the overall energy for the month of August 2023 for the sign of Cancer. You're watching Thomas' Tower readings. Please like, subscribe and share. Okay, so for the Cancer, um, we've got using your mind wisely. So but very much going into your mind um, and going into what you really want um, and this is very much there's a, on this call uh, this card it's mindful and group think um, and then we also got one that was friendship so seek people around you to um, fathom out what's going on in your mind to, to know what you're wanting to do next um, but it's very much the key keeps jumping out at me you have the key to make the changes that you require um, and this month for you is about deep think move forward you've got the key it doesn't matter what anybody else is thinking but or their opinions you can go forth and, and speak is what you're needing to do to communicate but with intention there's a lot about intention everything that you're doing this month have a good intention for that um, so remember if we're not thinking or our intention isn't from the heart or it isn't as good uh, for everybody involved um, we need to be careful of that type of thing so uh, seek your friendships, seek people around you, um, but you have the key within to make the changes that you're requiring. Thank you so much. And when it comes to your emotional core, um, similar vein, you have the midheaven and Pluto. So the midheaven is this. You have your birth chart. When you are born, the birth chart, right? so the universe takes a snapshot, so to speak. There's planets all over the place. They become your birth chart. Wherever the planets are means something. The midheaven, also known as the midhaven, is the middle of your birth chart. Therefore, no matter what is happening in your birth chart, you take the middle, so you're aiming for the middle, you're aiming for harmony and balance. When it comes to your love life, I'm not getting energy here for needing to step away from stuff to heal, but there have to be changes, there ought to be changes. I'm getting the word changes quite, quite strongly here for the sign of Cancer. You have the mid haven. And what I'm getting is for the sign of Cancer is not to stop stuff, if that makes sense. If you're happy in a relationship, by all means, be happy. But you have to ask yourself, are you? And what that means is you have the energy of pinnacles. So, that, so in numerology, there's pinnacle numbers. And pinnacles mean learning, learning curves. Uh, and you're coming up 
towards Mount of Learning Curve. So now you are being asked to go and find a place of balance and harmony from which to reflect on the relationship you're in, should you not be on a relationship, is to reflect why does it never work? Right? Am I manifesting right? Is it me? Is it them? Why does that make sense? Which is a bit of a pointless exercise when you, when you, when you try to compare. But the point here is, this is about making sure you understand what you're bringing to the party. And again, it's about words. Um, is the way you communicate, is the way you phrase things working in the relationship? Now, the interesting thing is when it comes to your pinnacle card, if that makes sense, you have the number 36. 3 and 6 is 9, 9 is the number of completion. So, my belief has always been that whoever needs to see and hear this message will find the video. Therefore, it is absolutely unimportant what your age is and how old you are. Because the energy here is quite interesting and may not necessarily resonate with all of you. But the energy here is, for your soul it is time to commit to something long term. So should you reflect then how come I'm always in these eight, eight week bloody things, right? <laughs> so now it's time to look at what energy would work for me, what, what can I bring to a relationship that make it worthwhile and make it continue. I'm not necessarily getting the word or the energy of having to settle fully, but you can be in a relationship and still go to bloody 25 countries if you wanted to and, and be wild. You know, you know, settling does not mean you, you, you now say sit there and start knitting. Nothing against knitting. <laughs> but I always associate with, with people who are sort of not doing all that much. It's just me. But you understand the concept. Um, what you're being asked to do is to look at whatever I manifest, whoever I wish, would that be something I want to spend time with in the future and learn to be in a relationship that you then prolong and then talk to the other party to, to actually prolong it and keep it in flow. One of the hardest things we all know, keeping uh, relationships afloat. Then not, Nothing here is, is saying it's easy. But what doesn't seem to work for you is should you be a person that sounds horrible, or it's just the way my guides talk. Um, if you are a person that hops, you know, you end one relationship and then it takes two days, might not be two days, but you understand the concept. If you are a person that doesn't really stop to look at the teachings you have had in there and what the teachings are, you may attract always the same kind of stuff. And so this is really about looking for balance and harmony in relationships. Now the outgoing energy is Pluto and Pluto is twofold, maybe threefold, <laughs> because Pluto is about rebirth because, you know, he's, he's far out there. He brings out the rebel in you, which is not something you need to do this month. So there's an opposite to the midhaven in your energy. So therefore, if you're already in a, in a not so good place, like, oh, you know, I'm just, a, I'm just a person, I'm really angry at the world, you will also be angry at partners, right? So the first thing you need to do is to find balance and then allow yourself to make that feeling of now I'm feeling good work. And now the other thing here is, I told you that, that your Midheaven card has the number 36, 6 and 3 is 9, number of completion. The outgoing card of Pluto has the number 27, another 9, completion. It is really time, again, you heard it here first, <laughs> it is really time for you to understand. And again, you can say it, you're governed by the moon, you want your emotions set in a way that is doable. And therefore, now is the time to look for something that lasts, right? I don't get the, sent the sentiment that it has to be the last relationship at all. So don't put yourself under pressure either. But the energy here isn't flowing well. Should you be a person that has too much going on or never commits to, to a relationship or has always attracted people that committing to is not worthwhile? See, there's alarm bells going on here. There's some sort of ambulance here, right? So don't do anything stupid. <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, yeah, but it is quite, um, feels a bit serious here uh, in the sense that what they're asking you is to, is to really reflect on what has happened to you and to your love life over the decades, over time, and should you not be decades old, <laughs> over the relationships you were in. But don't underestimate that you are governed by the moon. What doesn't really work for you is being here and there and everywhere, if that makes sense. So. 
as nice as it is to be um, exploring your life. And I'm not saying you should stop exploring. Exploration is really, really important too. But the energy here in the month of August is to look at how would it feel to have something that lasts? And am I doing enough to make it last? And then when you have found the balance that is needed to make that work, you can then look at whether or not your relationship that you're in has to change or how you manifest a new one, right? I was quite long um, uh, thinking about normally that part, that, 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 that part is normally quite short, but you know, we only work here. If the guides want to talk, they talk. And whatever comes through, we have to say. The most important thing here is that you had the number nine twice, number of completion twice. But it also is here for your own peace of mind, if that makes sense, right? So now let's look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of August 2023. This is your general reading for the sign of Cancerians. Let's have a look at opportunities. Okay, so for the opportunities, um, it's very much uh, what are your desires? What is it that you're looking for? Um, and go deep within, trust your instincts, trust what's coming through. So we've had two here of trusting in divine and looking at the signs that are coming through. But very much about um, the divine matrix as well. So what patterns are you, uh, do you keep on doing? Quite the same within your relationship side of things. Mm. When you're going through all these patterns, they're there for a reason. There's a mirror there for a reason. So what is it in those relationships that's not working? Is it self-sabotage? Is it you that's stopping? Ask yourself these questions. So it's very much for me um, in here, it's asking your questions of yourself. Where am I? What is it that's not working? How am I going to change this? What patterns do I need to change? Um, but connecting with that matrix going into there and asking your guides for that support um, and again unleashing the desires within yeah go for what is right for you heart-centered thank you thank you so much and there's no coincidence I, I, I do not believe in coincidence anything happens for a reason whether or not we understand it at all times right which is human but ever since we started uh, this reading there's a thunderstorm and and I can hear that and yeah. what that means is the, the the energy of a thunderstorm is nothing to be afraid of unless you're fucking outside under a tree <laughs> but you understand the concept thunderstorms are about clearing the air cleansing the energy and because it is so prominent here and you know nature is part of the universe so nature speaks I'm hearing that strongly for you to also do all this um, as an endeavor to cleanse what hasn't really happened for you and to let go of, of some of the old pain that doesn't really work for you and, and you don't have to carry all that stuff around with you. You know, don't ever allow yourself to be reminded of times when you felt like the victim because that is not energy that will work for you or works for you at all. You are Cancerians. You are governed by the moon. And you are one of three signs, Libra, Taurus, and Cancer, Cancer, that have a special alignment with the universe. So Libra and Cancer are governed by Venus, so they have the pentagon of Venus. As the, the, the planet moves, there's an extra strength that Libra and Taurus can um, well, access. And you are, as the other, as the third sign out of 12, that has a special alignment and extra strength. Um, everywhere your constellation is, no matter where your constellation moves, there's always literally a direct line that moves, that leads to where the moon sits. So you, that's why you're governed by the moon, is because of that, of that relationship and that rotation that these two, the moon and, and, and the constellation of Cancer, have that allows you to always be very close to your emotional core. And you have that as a gift from the universe, right? But it also comes with understanding because your emotions do govern you for the most part. Um, the point is fighting it. Just make sure you you integrate them into your life. Anyway, that's all we got time for. Thank you so much. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee. And you can do this by buying me a coffee on www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. Thank you so much. See you next month. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.